So if you're like me, you probably have seen or heard of graphic novels, and you've probably also heard of choosing your own adventures. I'm about 30 years old, and when I was 15, I used to read Goosebumps. And Goosebumps are these little, like, animals that go bump in the night, or monsters, and they would scare little kids, but they were not too scary. They were made for kids or children around their teen age. Not only that, though, but they started coming out with these choose-your-own-adventure novels, where you would read from page 1 to 2, and then 2 would take you to either 57 or 74, and you would choose kind of where you wanted to go based on the decisions that you made. Sometimes you would end up dead, sometimes you could progress the story, and sometimes you would finish with a satisfactory ending. Well, what Van Ryder Games has done is they've made a thing called GNA, Graphic Novel Adventures. Graphic novels are these things, you've probably heard of them as well, uh, they're from uh, all sorts of things like Sin City, uh, and they look kind of like this, so like oh, kind of a twist between manga and other sorts of things like that. <clears throat> well, this graphic novel Choose Your Own Adventure book is going to allow you to read from comic strip to strip, and then you'll choose to go from box to box. So instead of pages like 24 to 70 or to, oh, 24 or 74, it'll be box 24 to 74, and you'll also be able to pick up certain things on the picture images that you see. And the game is going to progressively get more and more difficult there's challenges there's an ending you'll also be able to use something like this little character sheet here and it's going to give you your life and weapons and all this other good stuff this is actually a set of this is one of five in the series of games and uh, there's no real ending to it. it's mixed in here somewhere in the book but on the back here is actually gonna have a table of achievements which will show you well when you once you've completed the game how well you've done based on any items you've collected so on and so forth and you can win the game and lose the game in different ways. Anyway, I'm going to take you down below and I'm going to show you what the book comes with and how it kind of plays out a little bit. I don't want to spoil too much of anything in these books because they're such a fun read. Um, so let's go ahead and just cover a little bit and I'll show you some of the artwork as well. So this book we're going to be taking a look at is called Tears of a Goddess and it's by Jordic and Manuro. Or ma nu -ro. Okay, I said that right. You, your choices, your adventure, your story, GNA, the graphic novel adventure series. And we're going to start by opening the book up and you're going to see the, uh, the little title page, a little cover page here, and then we're going to go straight into the character sheet and how to play. Now, if you want, you can write in here, however, that's going to kind of ruin it. I would actually prefer if you went ahead and went to the website, or if you made photocopies of this. In fact, you don't even need to do any of that. You can just simply remember the things, because the only thing that's going to really matter is your inventory, your time, and your health. The rest of it you should pretty much be fine with. Uh, this is going to tell you how to play the game, but I'm going to go ahead and show you without having to read all that, which actually is not much. And you're going to start from here, and then you're going to go ahead and look at it, and take it all in, and you're going to read the different things that go on here. So it says, it's, it is here that they were stolen in the room of the infinite spring. The six tiers of Nuwa, those sacred sprouts, have been kept in this temple for centuries now. We thought they were safe from much malice. They killed two combat instructors and broke through the door and uh, neutralized the protective glyph. It's uh, inconceivable. Anyway, and they keep going, and you keep reading it, and it's basically explaining uh, that the secret sacred glyphs have been stolen. They're gonna come to this girl here, and she's going to explain, oh no, um, no, I, I, I'm willing to help, but it's gonna cost you, right? Because she's kind of a vigilante assassin. Think maybe Assassin's Creed style. And after she go ahead and go ahead goes ahead and accepts their offer, it's going to take you to a map here. And at the map, it'll explain what's going on. It'll show you the three different areas you can go, as well as the entire city. And you're gonna have the 171, which is the lower district, the 85, which is the docks, and the 29, which is the merchant district. Each of these is gonna house one of the three thieves, and so you would choose one of them, and you're actually gonna come back to this page after you've completed one and go back to another. So we'll go to 29 here, because we'll go to the merchant's district, and you're gonna scroll through until you see we reach 29. So you're gonna be actually going through the book here like you would a choose your own adventure uh 20 uh nine here okay um blah blah blah, blah. I'm, I'm make sure that's right 28 29 okay it's uh 29 so i'm right okay so here we are 20 29 here uh this area of the city uh has many uh secrets blah 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 blah, blah. and uh, then you need to choose 15 or 43 you can also look out here to make sure you don't see anything that's going to uh benefit you in your travels you can actually write things down in your inventory if you want to collect them uh, let's go ahead and go to 15 so we'd actually go ahead and go backwards and uh in, in the book 
and there we are at 15. We can go check the water barrel, so we'll go ahead and just do that really quick. And we'll go to the water barrel, and uh-oh, the old lady tells you to leave her alone. And then you're actually going to continue here, and it says, oh, I overheard you. Um, we're looking for one of the thieves. Follow me. And you can either go ahead and follow the stranger, so we'll go to 26 and follow him and see what he has to, has to say or has to do for you. Yeah. Hopefully we'll have a helpful guy that we meet in the marketplace. And uh-oh, hey there, cutie. And she goes, oh, no, I'm such an idiot. Uh, and then bam, you lose, you lose life points. Irk. Bam. Then she has to run back to three. And that's the idea of it. Making choices, collecting items, fighting bad guys, and, and the like. And, and of course, you'll eventually come back to the, to the beginning of it to search uh, for the other thieves. There's also additional bonus things you can go through and do. But uh, if you can complete all three of these guys, these things here, so find the thieves, you'll actually get to do a challenge mode. So you'll fight the big boss. And then another little additional challenge mode. And then you're going to go ahead and look at the back of the book, and it will have all the achievements that you can go ahead and obtain. Like, for instance, if you give the animal glue to the carpenter, you'll get plus one point for the game. Or if you offer the... Ling Ling O to the young guard, you get plus two points as well. And you're trying to beat your, you can try and beat your time. So there's replayability in it and so on and so forth. The last thing you need to note is when you ever hit a time symbol, which will look like one of these, you'll slash off one of these marks here. And if you slash off all your marks, you're ending your game there. If you lose health from 16 to zero, you're also going to end your game. And you get to choose one of these three things, whether we want to be a disguise artist or weapon, weapon thrower or a burglar. And then you'll get poisons and as well as a femme fatale dose and a black lotus dose that you'll be able to use on, on people. Uh, and the health potions as well that can let you heal as you're playing the game. Uh, that's pretty much it for exactly how to play this one, Tears of the Goddess. Let's come up and talk about this, and I'll talk about a couple of the other books as well. So Tears of the Goddess by Van Ryder Games. It's got your GNA, which is the Graphic Novel Adventure Series, and there's quite a few of them. Uh, there is Your Town, there is The Loop Guru, and uh, there's two more, I believe. I only got this one to take a look at. They sent me this to try it out to see what I if I liked it. And uh, I can easily say that this is an instant buy. Straight up, if you like reading, if you like graphic novels, and if you're a fan of the choose-your-own-adventure style of gameplay, such as something like Tales of Arabian Nights. Tears of a Goddess is a nice solo player game that you can actually read on a plane, or you can read it anywhere you want, at any time, and there is a good amount of replayability. For this one, you probably only want to play it maybe three or four times until you're going to be done with it, but that is going to be worth the price of, uh, of the book, in my opinion. It's going to be straightforward as to what you're going to want to read. Uh, and go through it, and then you can go ahead and pass it on to somebody else, which is nice. It's kind of like those escape room games. You'll play it enough times to where you can go ahead and then pass it along. You can make photocopies of the uh, print on it, so that way you can um, make sure you don't mess up the book at all. You can have it like right there. Uh, just photocopy that, or of course they'll have it on their uh, website as well. Uh, there's a one called Your Town. Oh, there's a Sherlock Holmes one as well. Uh, those ones have a lot more replayability, which is really nice. My friend Ferdinand, the cardboard stacker, let, lent me these series. I got to read most of them. And uh, then I went ahead and uh, got this one and did the uh, Tears of the Goddess because I wanted to see, uh, I want to give it a review. And what I can say is, like I said before, if you like the artwork style, which is amazing in my opinion, if you like the graphic novel type of type of thing going on, and you like choose your own adventure, it's a it's an instant buy. It also has, has some really interesting little aspects to it, like time and HP. You don't just instantly die. I mean, you can instantly die. There are certain portions in the parts of the book or books where you can just die instantly. Uh, but for the most part, you're losing health, and if you make a poor decision, you can just simply continue the game until you eventually have no health at all if you keep making poor decisions. Uh, the one, one or two little nitpicks I have in it is sometimes it feels like the choices you make in certain books uh, are not necessarily the ones that you would think the outcome would, have, would happen, right? Like, uh, the guy offers to help you, and that's kind of like, oh, I probably shouldn't go help, I shouldn't listen to him because he looks a little like a seedy character, right? And so if you don't go, you won't get nabbed which is a perfect example of how to do it correctly. Or other times, it will feel like maybe the decision seemed like the right choice or an obvious choice, and then when you make that choice, it's completely wrong. So there's a bit of randomness, I guess, in it, which is also fine because it provides a little extra bit of like surprise uh, aspects to the game. And also another thing, too, is uh, finding the different images on the board so you're gonna have to find like maybe you'll find a piece of rope or whatever and if you don't find that you're going to be out of luck because you'll need to use that in some, at some point later on and you'll just simply lose the game so you have to be vigilant when you're reading it you can't speed read through these things uh 
or I guess you could if you want to lose. You need to go ahead and make sure that you don't miss anything and see that there's clues hidden. So that's kind of a positive and a negative, I guess. Make sure that you're reading it thoroughly. And uh, it, it, otherwise you're gonna miss something and realize you start all over again. Uh, and of course, like I said, certain books will have more replayability than others. Overall though, Tears of a Goddess gets my seal of approval and I definitely suggest you take a, take a look at it if you are interested in manga, graphic novels, and choose your own adventures. Great job, Band Rider Games. I'm very excited to see what other books come out in the uh, series here. I would definitely recommend this to anybody this holiday season as a great stocking stuffer or even as a great gift.